Okay, here I am at the park. It seems like a pretty nice day for a fly. It's a bit overcast, but there's practically no wind. So I'm going to take up this uh, fold away Visu, Visuo quadcopter and uh, I'm going to show you what it can do as a beginner's quad. Okay, here we go. open up the uh, the arms here okay like so okay I've got the uh, the battery in place there it is there I'll switch this on. Yeah, she's ready to go. That's the transmitter. Switch it on. And uh, we're going to take off shortly. Okay, this is my arsenal. Five batteries, seven minutes of flight time, approximately seven to eight minutes of flight time. So that's uh, five eight to 40 minutes. I can be here for an hour in between changes and rest. And I've, I can have a really great time flying this. It's fantastic. Anyone can learn to fly this, it's easy. I've just increased the uh, speed, the sensitivity rather. A little bit breezy, 
the wind does tend to take it a bit, but teaches you to fly it. I've got the uh, sensitivity set to high. You don't need to have it this high. I'm getting used to mode 2 as I continue to fly this because I'm a mode 1 flyer but it keeps the brain in check if you practice both ways and there we have it, the first flight I think the batteries just went down they got too low and it started landing by itself, not bad sun so you can see it properly okay I'm gonna take her up one more time I'm going to try and show you the difference between the sensitivity settings there's low medium and high when it's a really really calm day you can use the low settings if you're learning as, as the wind picks up a little bit you really do need to use the high settings it just gives you more angle of attack and you can control it better as well so it always takes off minimum sensitivity setting by default so that's the minimum sensitivity setting as you can see it doesn't uh, give you much to play with but when you're learning this is the perfect setting to fly this on. So I'll try and trim it out a bit. The wind picks up and then it goes down or dies down again. So that's the minimum sensitivity setting. Not much of an angle of attack with the banking, with the fall, with the aft settings. Perfect for when you're learning. Doesn't matter how old you are. Now I'm going to go to the extreme high sensitivity setting. The transmitter will beep to tell you that it's happening. I'll show you. That's the second one. That's the second sensitivity setting. You get a bit more of an angle of attack as you can see. So you can move up to that when you're ready. The wind's picked up again here. So I'm glad I've got it on this second sensitivity setting. Now I'm going to move to the high one. I'm just going to press the button again on the transmitter. You'll hear the beeps. That was three. And you can see I've got a much greater angle of attack now. With my roll. Forward. Aft. It's perfect, I'm telling you. You can't go wrong with something like this. Upwind, downwind, let's see how fast you can go, not bad, not bad for a $60 quad, the wind's died down, it's perfect, look at that.
tell me you can't have fun with this. You certainly can. There's no excuse. Look at that. Look at that speed. Power down, watch it. This is upwind. A bit slower, doesn't matter. You're learning. You're learning to understand how a quad flies. Right? Chances of crashing this, if you leave it on the minimum setting, even if you leave it on the high setting and you just touch the control slightly without panic, this is an easy to fly quad. It looks cool in the air. It's a lot of fun. There's just no two ways about it. What I'm going to do now is show you the punch on this. It's next to nothing, which is just as well really, because you don't need anything more powerful when you're starting out. So I'll just bring it in closer so you can see. I'll come down a bit. Okay. Hang on a second. Here we go. Just bring it up closer. Get ready for the punch. I'm going to go to full throttle now. Look at that. Right, that's the punch on this quad. <laughs> you can laugh if you like, but I'll tell you now. You cannot get in trouble with this. That's exactly what you need when you're starting out. Nothing fancy. Nothing powerful just enough to get you to understand how a quad flies, get you to understand what to do with the controls, watch it react to the varying circumstances depending on how the wind's blowing, depending on how the wind is gusting. A bit more power, turn it around. has picked up a bit. Sometimes you can't have too much fun if the wind decides to uh, overpower you. But thank God for the, uh, the high setting. It gives you the control and the angle of attack you need to cut through it. So I'm going to press the land button now. Well, first let me get control of it. I'm flying upwind. Oh well, <laughs> it didn't go like I planned. Let me see how we go here. Take off. Good as new. See?
Well, there you have it. The Vizio Foldaway Quadcopter. The perfect beginner's quad as far as I'm concerned. Brushed motors, three sensitivity settings, low, medium, high. Anyone can start off with this. Get to know how a quad flies. Get to know if you're really into it. Get to know if this hobby is for you. And all you have to do is spend a minimum of about $60. It comes with a battery, it comes with a transmitter. And I'm telling you now, you probably want to buy three or four or five or more batteries like I did. And you're going to have a ball. I'll speak to you next time. Thanks for watching.